is Heather D. Koch from Heather D. Koch Floral Design. And today we're going to just talk a little bit about leaf manipulation, something really fun and a little trick that I learned that I've done in a lot of different events. Uh, here we have a beautiful hand tie. We've tucked some orchids right into the beautiful hand tie to give it some beautiful whites and greens. So what I've done here is I have Aspidestra, and again you could use a tie leaf or any broad leaf that you find. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it this really beautiful, I'm going to say gnarly, because look how gorgeous that is. How did I do that, you ask? Well, I'm going to show you. It's very simple. You take your Aspidestra and you take waterproof tape, which you can get at your local florist. And after a bunch of trial and error on this, I've learned that if you take your tape and tape the spine, the back spine of your Aspidestra, all the way down, just cut that tape a bit, and I do that twice. Why, you ask? Well, because learning, as I teach myself these crazy things and figure out how to do them, I've learned that if you just tape the wire onto it, as I'm going to show you in a minute, it won't stay. So this helps it so that the wire stays. There we go. So you have just a waterproof tape up the back spine of the Aspidestra. Then you're just going to take some wire nice long piece here and start it from the top. Again, you're going to use your waterproof tape and I just give it a whole wrangle out there. And you're just going to start from the top. Don't worry if it sticks out a bit. We always got our handy dandy clippers to clip them after and just tape the wire onto the part you already used for waterproof tape. This is a really fun technique, and one thing about this, and you'll see in a minute, the more you do, the better of a visual impact you're going to have as far as leaf manipulation goes. So we're always looking for something different. It looks great with, um, like, in a really beautiful, say, a nice bud vase, and you have one gorgeous flower in it or two gorgeous flowers in it and a little bit of leaf manipulation is always fun. And I have just a little bit up here. I'm going to trim that off. And there we go. So now we have the wire going up the spine of the Aspidestra, which is what's going to enable us to give it that gorgeous, gnarly, fun shape to it. And you know, I found too, the thicker your wire, the more you're going to be able to give it that bendy shape. Sometimes I just like it to sort of look a little more gnarly, which is why I chose to use a different gauge wire, like a light gauge wire. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to take that and we're going to put it, I always put it into the corner uh, of the vase if you're using a square vase, again, because just using different parts, a lot of people tend to put things off to the side, but I say the corners are fun too. And there you go. If you're going to use leaf shine, which I do recommend, uh, it's a good idea to spray after you put on your wire, otherwise the wire isn't going to stick. And there you are. So now you have this really fun, cool way of modernizing a, a beautiful traditional technique like a hand tie. So just use your imagination and go and have fun. Thanks so much.